Hey everybody, welcome to Beast Mode Camping. Just came up here to Cabela's to see about making a hot tank. During this winter, it's going to be pretty cold and uh, I'm going to see about getting that tent up to about 70, 80 degrees and uh, see if we can make it happen. But I don't want to break the bank. So let's get in here and see what we can find. Alright, so the first one I found, it's like the ultimate Alacnac for a thousand bucks. Probably a little bit outside of the price range that I'm looking for. I'm looking to go budget on this one, um, but also probably a little bit too big for me. Maybe if I was bringing the whole family with, but let's keep looking. I gotta confess, I love this place. So the thing we found was the ultimate Alacnac best fuel. <laughs> Looks like it's 269. See here, it's got the outfitted with the stovepipe hookup. 269. Let's see if we can beat that. All right, I found here looks like something that could work. This is the West Wind six person, 300 bucks. Yeah, you can get it for ammo for 319. I don't know if I care to buy it. Yes, if you ain't. If you're into that, cool. This one, what kind of excites me about this one is it does have a big, a large vestibule and then a six person uh, portion to sleep in. Don't like the price though. Uh, I don't see anything else around here that could possibly go as a hot tent conversion. Um, I'll keep looking. Um, may have to look online, but uh, so far, uh, this uh, six person from West Wind looks like it might be the right fit. After scouring the internet, I found the Slumberjack Spruce Creek six person dome tent for about 170 bucks. Not only does this thing have a massive vestibule, but it's also the right price point for this project. So the only thing left to do is get out there and build it. the six person dome tent by Slumberjack specifically for the oversized garage style vestibule. 62 square feet of room, that should be plenty to put a wood burning stove and still sit multiple people comfortably. First thing that we have to do um, when converting this to a hot tent, we have to mark the spot that we're gonna add for the chimney. What do you think Steve, right here, right in the middle? Or we can go a little bit to one side I think uh, a little bit to one, yeah, like right there, because the way it's elongated and the chimney's on one side, yeah. that way it'll, the actual box will be right in the middle. So what I'm thinking is the stove's gonna go right here. It'll just be right on the flat ground, right up here. Oh, see, this is, you know, this is just netting. And, it, and the rain fly only goes down, what, maybe six inches past it? Yeah, you can show us What we're talking about doing is basically taking another piece of material and just Velcro it up here so at least not all of the heat is going to escape through this and then try to make its way down past the rain fly. Right. But one option. Yeah, and then uh, you could use that if it's Velcroed. You could uh, release like half of it if you wanted and let some heat out. Yeah. and help it to regulate the temperature in there, right? Uh, we've got another hunt going on, Steve. So Tell we me have about to it. name the video where Alien gives me a kiss and all these hearts go in the air. Yeah, so all right, that's a great one. Name the video, tell us what it is. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. You gotta be subscribed. Otherwise you lose. But hey, you can always hit the subscribe button right now and uh, still be entered to win. That's right. What are we giving away? Oh, how about, the, how about a jet boil? Get to hunt. All right, it's getting late, guys, but it is getting very cold. It's supposed to be, what, 20, 28, 28 degrees tonight. Something. Here's the vestibule. As you can see, this is a massive vestibule. It's going to be perfect. So what we're going to do right up here, we're going to put a port in, which looks like this. We're going to do it tonight because it's supposed to be cold the next couple days, and we'd like to see at least if it works now this is a three season tent not a four last night it was extremely breezy but 
maybe that'll help uh, push the hot air in. Who knows? Yeah, maybe. We'll see how it goes. So again, we're gonna take this piece. This is was a silicon fiberglass uh, heat resistant port. Sweet. And we've also got. Uh, I went ahead and got this as well. The so hell is that? this it's a heat wrap. Oh. So we'll be able to wrap this around the pipe. Oh, so okay. just in case, so my guess is yeah. we can do it at about maybe a foot yeah. worth. So a little outside and a bunch inside. Yeah. Uh, last night, this side of the tent was really blown in heavy. I uh, put new stakes in the ground and guy lines. So hopefully we don't have it blowing in. If this turns into a total disaster, yeah. or excuse me, if this doesn't turn into a total disaster, I will be thrilled. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but again, it is nighttime. As you guys can see, it's pretty dark out. Steve's got the light on me. Um, we're gonna see how far we can go. Bought a little uh, little tiny sewing kit, and uh, we're gonna see how that goes. So hopefully, yeah, if this isn't a complete disaster, Steve, Dude. I will be amazed. Dude, let's, let's do it. All right. It's on. Here is the nice Singer portable sewing machine that I got. Hold that back up there for a second. Are you sure? Do it. You sure? Yeah. Oh, we have to get a hand through there, you know. I'll take a shot at the enemy. I'm gonna make it to the top. So we've got the singer out, putting this on up there. Probably extremely irresponsible of us. But we're gonna have a hot tent tonight. It's probably very probably the most beautiful stitch I've ever seen. Maybe Look at that the stitch! Best, the best stitching ever. Beast Mode Stitching Company! <laughs> the stove for this project is going to be a Nyko Packer. This should provide plenty of heat for this size of tent and has enough space to put in at least three to four logs, which should keep you warm for at least a few hours. I'm sick of all the bad thoughts, people who are half guns. You are not as tough as <laughs> Hey, and if at any time you'd like this sort of content, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell too. It'll give you notifications and you'll never miss another video. All right, so here's what we've got. Got the little stove here, the stove pipe, an amazing beast mode job at putting that in there. Definitely when we get back to the house, we're gonna have to do a better job. Maybe Dana can help me get that sewed up there. We did the best we can out in the field. And we've got the heat wrap on that goes, I don't know, probably another six inches outside of there. It is in the 20s outside. We are seeing a little bit of, if you see right here, we're seeing the, the wind is moving it just a hair. We don't have the best uh, sewing job on there. We're gonna we're gonna fix that when we get back to the house. Man, that's beautiful. <laughs> that is phenomenal. I, I can't remember saying the more beautiful thing. We're gonna uh, do a little repair job here. How is that? That's, it's hot, but it's not unbearable. Yeah. Here, touch that. No, I'm not touching that. <laughs> So, but the good thing is this vestibule, look at this, this vestibule is all gigantic. Open. And this is all, this is all just mess right here. Yeah. yeah. Huge success on this one, dude. Yeah. I will definitely be sleeping with a pocket knife tonight, just in case something goes wrong in there and uh, I need a quick escape. If you guys don't hear from me again, though, my pocket knife failed me. Ooh, it is freezing. Got the fire going. Let's check and see what Tony's doing. What's going on? Dude, that light is bright. What the? Aha! What is? Oh my God. Holy crap. What are you doing? Check an email. Checking in. Dude, email. that light is bright, bro. I know. I bet Dude, you think it's bright. Shut the door. Shut the door. 
Yeah, shut the door. It's like, dude, that light is so bright. It's like a hundred degrees in here, man. Dude, yeah, shut the door. It's yeah, okay. I'll, now. I'll shut the door. Morning, everybody. Last night, I made a huge novice mistake. Um, since I've got the stove now in my tent, it, uh, it was super warm in there. Generally, I sleep in my gear. I sleep in um, at least my thermals and then inside my, my sleeping bag. The problem is, tops of three hours later, uh, that stove stopped. It, uh, it had burned all the wood in it. Woke up this morning extremely cold. Um, took me a bit to get going, but I wanted to let you guys know. If you do decide to make a hot tent, keep your base layers on and just, you know, always prepare for the worst. Um, it wouldn't have been a good thing if I was jumped up and out of there because maybe the place caught on fire or something or maybe a bear and I'm in my underwear. So uh, keep your base layers on. Always just be smart out there, guys. All right, so that was the Slumberjack conversion to a hot tent using the Nyko Packer stove. You know, we will do a couple last modifications, but uh, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe, ring that bell, and comment. Let me know what you think about this. Look at the size of that vestibule.